Before we continue on with this video, I gotta give a shout out to the Bombi Master 2 for making that awesome intro. It was just so adorable. But the real reason I'm making this message is because I'm apologizing for the frame rate in this video. It's kind of bad. I'm getting situated in my new house, which is why uploads have been kind of weird lately. Anytime I move into somewhere new, everything gets reset, so I have to readjust things. It does get better at some parts, and I don't think it's it's too bad so uh, anyway sorry about it uh enjoy the video hey yo what the freak is up my scrubs welcome back to another episode of danganronpa uh, also i have the best setup around i mean what better way to play danganronpa because it's like you know it's like i'm just sitting here in my chair reading you a story let's all let's all enjoy this together and i can rock like an old man <laughs> sit down sonny let me read you a story <laughs> as you can tell i'm still waiting on my desk and i'm still waiting on things i have my TV sitting on a coffee box and as you can see there's a lot of improvising going on right now but that's okay I'm comfy and that's all that matters I, I feel a little bit classy here you know just like <sighs> in last episode someone died are you shocked yet Huh? We are playing dog and rompa after all hey make sure you're checking out last episode because I'm about to spoil it okay three two one Angie's dead Angie went bye-bye and you know what guys I don't know if this makes you bad. I don't really care for Angie. She was like clearly starting a, like a cult, but I, I have a feeling she's probably going to come back uh, because there's obviously we're going to be able to talk to the dead and that's what I'm really excited for about this episode. So yeah. So we're going to do something called the Cage Child CPS. Where are you? So anyway, I guess they need five people to do a seance and uh, we're all going. So we got to go somewhere where it's dark. Then, then how about the empty rooms? That's Empty rooms, the ones on the fourth floor? Mm. There aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch yeah. uh, dark. Sure, I'm fine with Bring that. I agree with Himiko. Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... On the middle room. The middle room's always the best for stuff like I this. See. Yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you four help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment from the lab. The, the equipment. Okay. Are you really gonna do this? Do this is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? We need to use all of our efforts to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. Ooh. It's Kyoko, Kichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko. We're all going. I guess Gonta's staying behind, and Maki as well. Are they serious about this stupid seance? But Perhaps this is all part of the investigation in the rise. Uh, we should go with it. I have a strong suspicion that someone's about to be brought back to life somehow. And I don't know how that's gonna happen, but like Angie... I don't know. The thing is, is how is it possible? How is it possible that Angie could have died when there was no way to get inside the room? So the only people that could have been in there, one of the club members, and I, I don't know. Or it was just Angie herself trying to perform this thing. That's the only thing I can think of, guys. I don't know, what are your thoughts down below? Some of you guys already know. Pull the blood, all right, it's time to, I don't have my glasses right now, guys. I can't do the thing. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Matakuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as a laceration on her forehead. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck, a sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then what do you make of this wound on her forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her on the head before stabbing her from behind. Right. But everyone gets hit in the head in this game. But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Uh, yeah. I suppose that would be necessary. Unnecessary. But he hit her with a 1-2 combo. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? Forehead injury has been added to the... Truth bullet. Oh. What's wrong, Maki? Wait a minute. Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up on her shoulder. Wait, was that... Did she lift her... What? What's this doing crumbled underneath her body? What is you ain't it? supposed to touch the evidence, dude! This is duct tape, right? What's the duct tape doing here? Uh, um, I don't know, but it, uh, she used it for a freaking uh, equivalent exchange, guys. Look it, she has some of her hair. Bro, I watched Full Metal Alchemist enough. I know, you you never try to bring back the dead. It don't work. Look, there are hair stuck to the tape. Long hair is Angie's, right? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could it mean? I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under her body. It was particularly visible as a detective. You should have noticed, stupid. Uh, okay. Well, that's true. Even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over okay. it. Well then, it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Do you want to die? Want to die? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, joking. I couldn't resist. Got a minute? You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. <laughs> what kind of joke was that? Necromonicon. Look at it. This is freaking more than doing Full Metal Alchemist over here. This was the motive. The Necromonicon. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. And you tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yes, if we look at this book, we shall learn from steps of the ritual that she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. Oh, it's even got- oh, it's even Monokuma themed. Wow. You have to- no matter what it is, it's Monokuma themed in this game. <laughs> I'm just gonna read it right here. What's a ritual? Do you want to talk to a dead loved one again? This simple ritual return a departed soul to the land of the living. <laughs> Here's how. Preparing the effigy, prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant and you can make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. Okay. After preparing the effigy, burn the necromonicon to ashes. Okay, so she obviously didn't complete it. Use caution, be mindful of the carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes of the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait after a while. You should feel a light tap on your back or on the back of your head when you're dead. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. Something he would say. Angie really believe this crap? It's pretty obvious that this wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. If we can rule out that this game isn't real, then anything is possible. Right? That's what I think. That's what I think. Uh, because the last game, uh, the machines, it's the Xbox. The whole thing is uh, powered by Xbox One. Or no, the new one, whatever that is. Dude, these freaking things are scary. But why they got a freaking stab Kaidi like that? All right, so they're hanging from there. If I remember correctly, Complete the sense, complete the sentence, dude. Angie made all these wax figures. Oh. Is this rope from the warehouse? Right. I believe so. So that means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and uh, gotten these ropes. Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that could be used for murder. Hmm. Uh, um. Bro, it's like Sephiroth stabbed her or something. That's a long sword. Anyway, I know these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. Well, duh. That's true. The effigies look exactly like the real people, not just their faces, their bodies, too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. Uh, what is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of the way to hang a wax effigy? That's the thing, right? Maybe Angie has some more rituals that no one else knew about. But, th but then again, like, the person that would do, like, weird crap like this is that one guy, right? Yeah, this looks like something he would do. Kora Kor yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, he's, he's my number one suspect, as of now. We don't have very much clues, though. What about this hammer? That could have hit her in the back of the head, couldn't it? Hey, is this the katana from that room? Damn it! <laughs> he's so, he's so shook up about this. You got a minute? Let me see. Nobody stabs best girl's wax figure. Oh, she pulled it out, okay. Ah. Oh. This is a crime scene, you can't! You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do it if you don't pull it out. It True, but we do have to preserve the scene. Maki paid no mind to my protest. She don't care. Oh, it's got real blood on it, though. So there's a gold leaf on this, so this confirms that this was the same katana that we said that okay. was going to be used for a murder. I believe it's the one on display. Yeah, 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 we know that. That is not how much blood was on it in front of the other picture. We could probably assume this is uh, the murder weapon, judging from the bloodstains at the tip. The uh, edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But, but why would they go through the effort to using this as the murder weapon? That's true. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Yeah, like the million guns that she has. Perhaps that's just because Kyo's lab is on the same floor. They just stabbed, they just grabbed something close by. They may have been in a hurry. Uh, or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. What, they stabbed her from, like, the floor or something? Is it, like, freaking Danganronpa 2 again? My life doesn't contain swords or any other weapons huh? of this length. Really. That's true. I'm not sure how Monokuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched the mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is finally... Yeah, she can't use swords anymore. I suppose everyone's life is suited for them personally, just like Angie's was. But how do they know all this? <sighs> Anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. We gotta check everyone's palms. Uh, Even so, why was the weapon stabbed in the wax effigy? That's the million dollar question. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon than what this. Are you talking then about? what's the reason for this? That's... I honestly have no idea. Well... We should investigate where the weapon came from. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah let's go. And okay. hey, what about the... We need to do the ritual. I wanna, I wanna see that. Screw this stuff. Like this stuff right now. Come on. 
Oh, he's gonna make me look at everything. What's over here? This door is the lab's back door. What is this? This uh, door has a sliding lock and it's still locked. So no one could have done that from the outside. That's true. Because no one has used this door since we came in here. I believe Angie locked this door. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's this? Nani? Oh, it's got gold on it. I carefully touched the knob of the lock avoiding the gold part. So he's gonna try to like slide it. And softly slid the lock open. Okay. Ooh, he opened it. Just as I suspected, this lock will slide without much effort. Oh, mm. whether you lock it or unlock it, this could be an important clue. So maybe it is possible to lock from the outside. I'm curious about this rear door too. There's something else that bothers me. The lock on the front door that we used to enter this room is different, obviously. I just want to confirm something. Whether we get to this lab, you're sure the front door was locked? Okay. Yes, I'm positive. I grabbed the door and I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Yeah, don't work. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock. So he picked the cylinder lock open. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock besides That's him? True. It would have been impossible from the outside. The Monocubs took the key. So Kokichi is the only one that could have opened the closed door from the outside, right? Nah, it's not Kokichi. Mm. I already know. I already know Kokichi. He is surviving to the end of the game, no doubt. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they please. So the front door was locked from the inside no. the room. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities here. But in the case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Yes. Still, it's strange that the front doors and the back doors have different locks. Yeah, it seems like it'd be easier just to have the same ones. So even though I don't think it's Kokichi, he is a suspect and we can't rule everything out, guys. Also, he appeared at oddly convenient times when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. That is true. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. Alright, alright. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know if it's just me, guys, but I feel like... I feel like Angie's body looks a little weird. Like, it's hard to see her. You know what I mean? Like, is it just me? I don't know if it's just my TV brightness, but something seems off. So there's a wound on her forehead and it's deep, but it's not bleeding. How could that possibly be? And she got stabbed in the back of the neck, probably by that sword. Yes, that was the murder weapon. I don't know. I'm just thinking outside the box. What if she's, oh, sorry. Uh, what if she's like a freaking wax figure or something? But then, then the body discovery announcement wouldn't have played and it just wouldn't make any sense. Something is fishy and it smells. A murder at nighttime is strange, impossible even. Why? Why do you think that? Right. Because student council made rule that we no go outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Ew. Do you really think everyone would go along with that what? rule? But it's Atua's rule. And she said he, but you're still on that, dude. She's dead. I, I think. But. But the student council was included in that, correct? They could have done what they wanted. And she was also working here at night. What? She was? But. No way. Student council would never break own rules. Right. They should have been asleep in own rooms to set good example to others. Not everyone is as is, is wholesome as Gonta, clearly. Oh no, Gonta, no, nah, it's not your fault. The busty Brady beauty has this all figured out. You mean you know who the culprit Break is? That. The culprit? Break that. <laughs> she wishy, do we really have time to be listening to her? Wait. Hey, wait, are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? Just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna trust my arms, then I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. You know. I know you're all dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird these wax dollars are, right? They are strange. Are they for a ritual? Well, then. But I figured it out. It was just one glance, and these are diversions. Could it be? Listen diversions. Up. Yep, the culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. Got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know? Let's just see how details, uh, details oh. really are. Hey. Mew tried to look up the wax figure skirt. Hey. Wait, what are you doing? Stop that! Hey. All right, yeah, she said some things that I can't repeat. All right, that was a waste of time. I mean, she could be onto something about the distractions. Could Tenko be the culprit? Wait, why Tenko? Huh? Huh? It's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I mean, she loves Himiko. Or she she's really close to Himiko one way or another, so I I could see her being the suspect too. Because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. Oh, yeah. That's right, Angie did allow members of the student council to enter her lab, but then she was banned. Uh, it's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been let in there, so Angie only let in student council members. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Tsumugi. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. Really? Hmm. But I think it's a little weird that she's pointing the blame to people when she is not exactly innocent herself. And she wasn't suspected, so she could have been let in. 
We need more information. So one thing that we can say for sure is that she was stabbed from a long distance. And that's why there's not blood on her. She didn't get impaled all the way with the sword. She was stabbed from a distance. And how would she do that? You know, maybe you threw a door, but that would be stupid. Like, it wouldn't reach that far, would it? Wait, this blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed, maybe more. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Okay. Hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions just yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, Maki, what's wrong? So what? It's not that important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Guide, no. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy is useless. Anyway, let's continue. I really want to hit the- guys, my streak has been kind of bad lately. I really want to hit the nail on the head on this one. I want to, like, get this perfectly. I feel like we've been so close, but, you know, it's just- It's just not- not what I- what I've been needing. Oh, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with a seance? <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, ah, that is your signature look. Anyway. Roasted. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Something for the seance. I'm guessing it's yeah. the dog, right? Oh, white sheet. Wait, why is that there? That wasn't there before. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on the seance before I got the sheet. Study. Um... So let's see. Pokichi took a uh, look around. I heard it was like some old handbook, uh, handmade book. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Yep, it's Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Let's see, what does it say about the Cage Child Seance? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Yeah. He was drawing the same magic circle as the one in the picture. Um, uh, okay, let's see. In order to perform the Cage Child, you need five people, including the spirit, medium, and a dark place with no light. I remember correctly. Just like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle pressed, uh, passed down from the Cage Dog Village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle. What the heck? Wait, curl like a turtle? Angie was curled, wasn't she? And rest her forehead on a stone on the ground. Her forehead. Afterwards, the other four participants, and there's four freaking bodies of, of wax, that is, must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. I see. Also says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um, the dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog statue? Yeah. Then when preparations are complete, turn out all the lights to create complete darkness. The seance will begin with the four participants and each standing on a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the caged child song. After the song asks, is the caged child to say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. Interesting. That sounds complicated. But... Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo has been wanting to conduct the seance for a while. Yeah, he mentioned it way, way before. Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without right. it. But, is that even possible, contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, uh, Shuichi? Huh? Well, you, know. you should see how it plays. I, yeah, let me! I wanna go see! Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> but whether you believe it or not, as a, as a detective, you should at least observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. I think you're right. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go to those, like, creepy rooms, I remember. They said this one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. You are most welcome to join us. Is what I would like to say, however, only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh, man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. He's not even real, okay? He Get out of here. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. But then again, if Tenko was, uh, in fact, freaking guilty, right? 
she wouldn't be like wanting to participate in the seance, right? Because Angie would just say like, this should be an easy case, but it's not. You know it's not gonna be that easy. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kipo. Why you? Don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after you forced me to come? <laughs> That's why we're apologizing. Do not mock no me. one's apologized yet. Oh, fine, fine, our bad. Just don't uh, get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. How rude. Why would I do that? Stop it. Stop whining, Kipo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> fine, but I won't forget this betrayal, Shui. He's gonna kill us now. What did I do? So then. So now Shuichi has joined first some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped on. Um, you drew this magic uh, circle with salt. That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Oh, a curse! Okay. Got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this even without looking at the picture. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle would be should be perfect. Of course, I also have the Kate Child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? Oh my God, we're about to sing. It's American Idol. All right, I think I've got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right away. Uh, uh, no pressure, right? No pressure. You just can't miss one single syllable up. How exciting! We finally get to see Angie! So then. Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with the girl. <sighs> then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Yeah. That's right! You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you're finished saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live a lot. Oh, she's so nice. She's so nice. Also, Himiko, let me say this one last thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. <laughs> I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger upon something can really cheer you up. Yes! Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. I think you've trained too much. You're probably right. It seems like the two of them made up good. That's that's good. So then. All right, let's get yes. this going, dude. Now, I would like the spirit medium Tenko to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path so as not to disturb oh, the magic. Oh, so that's why it's like that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Is it possible that someone... Here's what I think now. I think someone else maybe perhaps try to do the seance with Angie. And they wanted to... Yeah, they wanted to do some kind of ritual with Angie, clearly, but I think they failed. Maybe they unleashed the curse that killed Angie or something. Oh my god. That's oh oh my god. I am onto this. I am onto this. Because a lot of this matches up, right? The number of people, right? Let's see. Uh well. Yeah, it does match up because that would there would be five people, including the person doing it. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? This may be uncomfortable. But please endure it until the seance is complete. Yeah, because if Angie, like, just fell over, she looked just like that. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Piece of cake! I have five-star flexibility! Oh, this is weird. So then... Starting now, when the rest of us must go to work, there are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully. Yeah, don't touch the circle. Yeah. You can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. <laughs> I shouldn't I have lied. <laughs> I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. It's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please don't jinx us! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. All right. Everything is prepared. Okay. This is well, interesting. I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. Oh. 
Maybe this was when she got stabbed. There maybe is a white sheet, I bet. I bet you there's like a white sheet or something. It's like missing. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Okay, you know what? Huh. This is weird. I'm starting to think maybe Angie is the one that just messed up. That's what, this is, that's what I'm starting to think. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. <laughs> oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton. No, it is not much more than 175 pounds. <laughs> All accurate. Oh, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily. But seances and magic don't mix. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Hibiko. Thank you. Uh, sure. Sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances. So it can hold this weight. Okay. I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing. Yeah, but clearly Angie couldn't have done any of this. This is the point of no return. Tenko, after this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Ooh, that'd be so creepy. Got it. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Well, then. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Five bucks, guys. Five bucks. You gotta smash like... Something's about to go wrong, for sure. We each stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. Oh, and the fact- Oh, and the fact that it's gonna be dark too? We're not gonna be able to like- uh, Someone's gonna mess it up. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Many gaps in the floor! Huh. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. Hmm. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black. So dark I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. I gotta hear this. At last, at last, at Kyo uh, led us all in the Cage's Child song. Young are dog and little lost girl Sealed within an iron cage Bro, I gotta put this on my Spotify. At mountain's bottom Within the darkness At last, at last, at long last A little creepy, a little creepy though. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Oh, what? Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? What kind of lyrics are these? At last, at last, at long last. Wait, wait, I got, uh, reach out and touch Wraith? Wrath? Is that what this says? I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? He began calling now if the medium answers. Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? <laughs> Ruth Anderson? <laughs> What's going on? Say. What's the matter? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um, Maybe it failed. Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? Wait, is that okay? Well. Just for now. 
Confused. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh my god. Does someone else just get murdered right now? I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Oh my god. It's yeah, it's, she's dead. Tenko's dead. Ten oh she's dead! Oh my god. Hmm. What's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. Oh, she's dead. She is so dead. That shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is that st uh, still Tenko in there? Hmm. Tenko? I see. Yes. I told her that she mustn't speak until the culprit enters her. <laughs> she followed orders, but how do we let her out now? Hold on. Or how about we let her out? Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completely completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may be stay in the medium's body. Man. Seeing as how, seeing as this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. Oh, it's a double murder. Just like setting up, Kyo instructed us to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything in the order. Now, I will re remove the sheet. Okay. I saw this coming. Oh. Bro, they stabbed her from the floor. Something is amiss. Yeah, she's freaking dead. Yeah. Himiko ran towards the cage at a sprint. <laughs> Himiko, I told you not to step on the... Like anything's gonna happen. Oh, that is so messed up. Tango! Filled by de uh, desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up, and... Dang, she got that Supergirl strength. Bro, I didn't expect another death in the investigation! That's crazy! Look, she looks exactly like Angie did! That's so freaking weird! Dang. Really? Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Monophy's green puke was pred uh, predicting this tragedy. <laughs> oh, not a kid. Ah. Uh, her puke color is normal now. I guess it was predicting this. For now. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. Dang. Okay, so it was obvi- well... It was obviously someone that wasn't here in the seance, right? Someone is stabbing people. What? Tenko? Seriously? <laughs> what? What is this now? How did it happen? How did this happen? Gods are so sorry. Could not protect you. you Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, I don't know what's happening. Oh no. So if her body is the same way as Angie's, then definitely. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? Huh? If so. What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two blackened? Well, we need to find them both at the class trial. Now that you mention it, it that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Yeah. What would happen, Monadam? What would happen? Um, what would happen? Not that. Why do you look so lost too, Monadam? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy. I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do, really. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, they're disorganized. If you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. Father, Father always know what to do. We should ask him for help. No way. Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. Oh, there he is. Freaking scary looking Monokuma. <laughs> it's all our fault daddy ended up like that. It's all your fault, Monofi. Help, oh, we don't know what to do on our own. We gotta use the power of love. That ought to snap him back to normal. That won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's right. Now, that's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. Yeah, why is he like that? Daddy! Daddy, I love you, so please come back to normal. Father. I want to see you, father. I love you with all my heart. Yeah. Ah, you're making me blush. Another one? I'm back. Were you good while I was away? Oh, he's licking them again. Oh, no. Oh, why he looked that one? With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. Oh, that tickles. Father's intense love is getting me all what is wrong with these people? Yeah, Bears. That's an extremely sus thing to say. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take off time to relax. To Normally, most companies won't even let you take off time to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just leave whether you get permission or not. Eh, that'll work. Um, Wait, so then who's the uh, baldy then? Yeah. 
Oh, it's just a part-timer I got to cover me while I was gone. Hey! Here's your pay like we agreed on. Now let's, let's take it and get out of here. I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. What the heck? It actually moves. Now that that nuisance is out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, what happens to votes if there are two blocking candidates? I don't answer well, that. I have an answer for that. It's first come, first serve. Huh? First come, first serve. Hey, um... The blocking who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other, In other words, words, if the blocking who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the blacken. Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself was the waste of a victim. What? Really? Someone's gonna get away with it? Now then. And I'll add this to the school regulations, as you can review it later. Go ahead. I also updated the Monokuma file. Father! That's really weird. Daddy! Okay, so if two different murders by different murderers occur at the same time, only the one whose victim was found first will be the black in. That is, that's dirty. That's, that's an awful school. Then what's, uh, then what's to stop people from just killing everyone? So that means another person could die and it, they, they just get away with it. All right, so reading the updated Monokuma file, she was also stabbed in the back of her neck. How is it in the back of her neck? We heard something break. Was someone inside the freaking wooden statue or something? That would be stupid, but I don't know. How else could you stab someone in the back? She was facing down. Right? That's the thing that's sus for me. So to make sense of Listen all of that, closely. if both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Nope. We don't even know if there's a different culprit, Let's do we? See. True. We should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in How case. Exciting. This is crazy, Piece though. Of shit! Shuichi! Shuichi, this is huh? bad. This is unquestionably ba bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone is upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help Let's right know. now. So this is where you need to step up. Listen up. Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it uh, so. All right. Yeah, yeah, I know. So they're just going through what we already did. Jeez. Oh. oh God. Hey. <laughs> so he mentioned. <laughs> so they mentioned the word curse, and this is how he reacts. What? Curse? Kaito, calm down. No way there's a curse! She's so she's blushing. Don't screw around! You're the one who's screwing around. Did you wanna die? Ooh, <laughs> saw that coming. Another body. Oh no! Should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. Uh well, I don't know. It's <sighs> Could it have been him too? Like, right? The fact that he left the room, Akibo? Uh, and he wanted revenge? And he's a robot? Maybe he's got some extra vision or something. And to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective. Oh, God. It's too dark in here. We can't investigate, even if we wanted got to. It. You want to bring candles from other room to make this room bright, okay? No, no that won't be necessary. Oh. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Why? Listen up. Show him, Kibo. Show him your new power. New power? What the heck? His eyes lit up. You know, solar flare. I, Mui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new oh, function that's, in Kibo. That's what she was doing that I couldn't show you guys. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. So he can light up rooms. Interesting. <laughs> shine on, shine on, shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Is is the bad language? Is it necessary, Mew? Huh? Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait! We saw a lot more in this room. Man, what a lame function! You should have made him like a transformer or something. It's okay. But it's right now. We should hurry investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's part of the truth bullets. Yeah, white cloth. Let's take a look at that. The cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to a window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back, it looks like there's a blood stain on it right around the middle of the sheet. But, but there's no hole in the fabric. Which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through this cloth. Okay. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. White sheet has been added to the truth bullets. Maybe that stab mark, maybe this was used for uh, Angie. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. Kyo said it was about 175 pounds. That's what the weight, that's the weight of the two girls. 
What do you know about the girls? Have you even touched the woman besides your mother? Uh, what the um, heck is up with that? I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, is this? Is this what kind of joke is that? If this everything was on top of the cage, then Tenko wouldn't have been able to get it out easily. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. <laughs> the fact that it's so heavy too, Gonta. I'm just saying, Gonta. Right, there's definitely writing on the wall, but I can't look at it. It's the magic circle that Kyo drew on the floor. Dear. It's been completely stumped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Well, uh, was this drawn with salt? Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling alright? You sound ridiculous. Ridiculous. I have performed many successful seances. Why, I've even had spirits enter my body. Right Shut up, I didn't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. What? In any case, with all these footprints, I can't take out the original circle. Or I can't make out the original so circle. We'll find out in Kyo's lab. It should be written on the Cage Dog Village documents. Isn't that right, Kyo? He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. He really wanted this to go through. All right, let's look at her body. She took her last breath crouched over like this. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is the stab wound to the neck. This wound was fatal. Mm. This must have caused instant death. Ah, uh, wait. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Would Tinko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? Nope. Her death might have been uh, instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Huh? What do you mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. With a wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. Uh, um, You're speaking from experience? That's obvious. Of course, quick deaths are my specialty. Then that makes sense. By the way. The real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. You're right, I don't see any obvious murder weapon. Uh, that could be a clue. Tenko's last moments have been added to the truth bullets. Okay, what about the stone? Tenko had her forehead on this rock hunched over. She had to make herself small to fit inside the cage. And why is there blood on the cage? It looks to be around three feet high and three feet or five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron cage. Okay. Big enough for a person to fit inside. Hey, look at this. Is this the blood stain at the bottom of the cage? Probably Tenko's blood. Yeah. Yep, that's true. Yeah, I imagine so. The splatter must have been made when she was killed. What do you mean? Which means Tenko was killed while she was still inside the cage. Oh, yeah, while she was inside. Okay. Duh. I think you're right. Tenko went under the cage before the sands. Wait, wait, wait. Is a board moved? Isn't that what it freaking looks like? If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain this blood stain, right? Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but with the exact moment the cage was lifted. That is a possibility. What? What do you mean when the cage was lifted? Himiko lifted it. What does Himiko have to say about this? Hey, hey Himiko, be strong, Himiko! Gonta, if you shake Himiko so much, she's going to break. What? Was she not talking? It's like Himiko not even here. Like she must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her be for now. Mm. Okay. Himiko? Interesting, interesting indeed. Why? How can this be? Gonta's so ashamed. Why Gonta no protect friends? Gonta, it's okay! <laughs> Alright, we're missing something. The fact that he can light up the room leaves him definitely... And he's a robot, so like we don't know if he has extra vision or something. So, Kori Kiyo said that she cannot speak at all. But I'm reading this book and nowhere in this book does it say that she can't speak. So if it's true that she could speak and he was just saying that, maybe he's trying to hide something. I did this. I knew it. I know the murder was pretty shocking. Of course. Of course I'm shocked about this as well, but why did the seance fail? We performed all the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned by that than the murder. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, if we perform the cage child again and summon Tenko's spirit this time. This stupid. Cut the crap, just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Shibuchi, so she died during, it, like something definitely moved. It sounded like something... Some kind of wood breaking uh, during the song. Oh yeah, so we get to hear it again. Yeah, dude, something broke. It's a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. That's a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Kyo knows something. What do you mean? And then what happened? Yes. Well, we called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi and Kokichi relight the candles. Then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. The first, all four of us removed the dog uh, statue. Next, I took off the white cloth and then... Himiko ran over to the cage and the moment she lifted it... Hmm. Then it sounded like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. No. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, yes? Then, when was she killed? Well, that's, that's the problem. Yes. There was another problem. No. 
problem. And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from the recorder. Did someone else sneak in here? What's the point? Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham, Maki was never one to pull her punches. Do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? They're tough to walk on. Uh, the um, floorboards aren't nailed down, they're just lying on top of the cross pieces. That's what Gata told me. That's probably why they were a little unstable. Hmm. They've only been laid on top. That's why that's why they're unstable. Well, well, the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine they'd come loose easily. This... But if someone wanted to remove the floorboard, they could have easily done so, right? Okay. I suppose so. Alright, here we go. Cricket floorboard. It's the one right under Tenko. Why? Why is this floorboard loose? If I remember. It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the seance. Why? Why would it come loose? But it wouldn't have come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. Of course they did. All right, that's gotta be it, right? There's nothing else. Oh, the hole in the corner. There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get in through, but is still, this? looks like there's a space under here too. Wait, hold on. I can see something below. It looks like there's something dropped down there. Huh? Something dropped. Oh, that's gotta be it. Alright, so we're gonna go under the floor and see for ourselves. Yes, let's do that. Right. I pulled some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole under the floor. Ooh. Yeah, there's another blood and that's dried. So Angie was killed in here, not in there. This is a lot more spacious than I thought. You can, uh... You can move pretty easily on all fours. It looks huge. Yeah, this is what I'm most like uh, concerned about. It's a cut cross piece. Oh, oh look, part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut oh, off. True. Near the loose uh, floorboard is the portion missing is about the same width uh, too. And from what I could see of it, that's true. Uh, it wasn't broken off naturally. This was cut by someone. There should be saws in the warehouse so they could have done that. The question is why. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fail if this portion is missing. Then, so what purpose did this serve? The floorboard underneath the Tinko's body is loose and the cross piece supporting it has been cut. If the corporate did it all, all this, then why? That's gotta be Angie. Wait, whoa, whoa, it's a scythe! Or a sickle, same thing. Oh, so this was probably what was used to kill Tinko. The blood on the sickle is fresh. This is it. This is the murder weapon. Is this? This came from my research lab. Huh? It did? Well... A sickle could be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any leth uh, lethality, and you can hide it under your clothes, too. Well... Under your clothes? So someone during the seance did this, maybe. So who's the one closest to that corner, then? Even if is Even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko in the cage? The blade couldn't fit through the gaps in the cage, but would it couldn't but could it reach her neck? That's true. The cage is three feet high, so if you were to stab it into a six inch blade, it would depend on Tenko's posture, but I don't think it's possible. Then her posture is the question. Uh -huh. If the weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away, right? That's true. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle underneath the floor in the dark. Or they could have uh, been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. Bro, this hurts my brain, all these details. So they're just saying the same thing I did. It's the fact that it's dry, and I think it's in a different room. What do you mean? Yeah, no doubt that that was actually used for Angie, and her body was just moved. Like a hole. Some of the wood has corroded and they're broken off, so you can use it to get into the next room, yeah. or to see in the next room. This is the wall of the empty room, right? Looks like there's wood along the wall. This part is rotted away. Mm. It looks like the natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. We can get into the next room through here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here instead of using the walkway no. or hallway. True, but it would have been difficult moving around under the floor. We did all right because we uh, had a light. Without that, it'd be pitch black. Then they could have used the light like we're doing right now. Well. True. They used the light to move around under the floor. Is that possible? I think we're finished investigating here. Is that all right? Maki, you want to head back up? <sighs> Glad you asked. I was starting to get fed up with all this dust. She don't like dust. We've only been investigating this room. You sure that's wise? Huh? What do you mean? Because. If Angie and Tinko have different killers, then the black and we need to vote for is... You're right. The culprit for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. That's what Monokuma said. And... So instead of investigating Tinko's death, we should be investigating Angie's. Uh, okay. Of course. But... But this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died, we need to reveal the truth of both uh, their deaths. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand why you feel that way, but if you plan on investigating the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. Alright, finally let's us leave.
When I came to the hallway, it seemed more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolded. Are you- WHAT THE HECK?! It's a lie! Screw you, Kokichi! Oh my god! I thought he was dead! <laughs> what the heck, man? Did I surprise you? Were you gonna scream and cry in terror? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real blood. Why? What are you doing? I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then suddenly, <laughs> I stepped through the floorboard. Huh? You stepped through the floorboard? So yeah, it got me good because of this, I tripped and fell pretty hard. If you're gonna lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Uh. Oh, sorry, my bad. I guess there's no cross piece supporting this floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> Ah, uh, what, what bad luck. The cross piece was gone? Does that mean... Wait, is it is it time? Confidence! Dreams! That's what the killing game is all about! Killing game fans! Hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes! Baseball! Soccer! Mobile games! They're all nothing compared to the killing game! The killing game just can't be beat! Behold, students! The entrance to the trial grounds! Already? I guess time's up. Oh man, it's because of you guys. I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? What were you trying to check? I wanted to re-research the seance again, so I brought this document with me. But unfortunately... Man. I couldn't find anything new that could be used as a clue. Kyo perfectly reenacted the seance as what was written in the document. He drew his magic circle the same exact way in the picture. Not only that, he used the same exact tools. Nothing is too suspicious about the whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but I'll tell you about it later. I'm telling you, the whole talking <laughs> part didn't really match up, but I don't know how much it matters. At the class trial, so see you there. It's about to like fall over? Kokichi left the blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. Bloody Kokichi. Oh, there's so much, man. Uh, um. Uh, let's go too. That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see, so even she gets nervous sometimes. What are you staring at? Do you want to die? No, I need to check this room! Let me check! Ah, stupid. I hate it! They purposely don't want us to see the truth! What are they hiding? It would appear that we all gathered, but it seems there are less and less of us. Oh. Less friends uh, mean it much harder to solve mystery. Don't worry. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Gonta. Mm. Yeah, Gonta do his best to help. Mm. I want you to graduate from super idiot level to at least Kaito idiot level. Hey, how come he's not bleeding anymore? What? What's that supposed to mean? Are okay? uh, more importantly, are you okay, Kaito? Ah. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better now. Wow, Maki Roll really sure does pack a punch. I don't know. It's your fault. You don't need to worry about our dwindling numbers. Only dip craps. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it doesn't work to censor these words. Have died so far. Nothing. I know it's a tall order, but try to use your brains this time so I don't have to use mine. Hoo-yah! These golden brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. Just... It's as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. Rest Ooh. in peace. Atua, please lend us your power. Are you still onto that? But... It may be difficult, it may be difficult for us to rely on Atua. Considering what happened to Angie, whom Atua loved most of us all. Well, you know. She shouldn't have relied on Atua in the first place. But seriously, it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in God, especially Atua. So what? Robots can believe in God? Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. What? <laughs> you might call it an inner voice. It tells me what to do whether I'm in trouble or trouble. I can't click. I don't know why. It's not letting me click. Minute. How long are you going to say that for? I tell you, ghosts don't really matter right now. Jeez. Yeah, the trial this time is going to be rough. We got caught on Monokuma's trap. Huh? His trap. That's right. He probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investigating. Oh, right already. No, he didn't. I'm having the hardest time clicking. Why? Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. Hey, so. Should we should say something? Huh? What should I say? Or say something. Ah. Ooh, it starts again, guys. This one's crazy, man. They really had me, man. I was, I was so messed up. I thought Kokiji was dead, too. I was like, ah. But I'm really thinking Kibo or Korikio. I don't see... I don't see how else, you know? 
There's just too much mystery for me to really take a good guess. But that's gonna do it right there, my scrubs. Be sure to scrub, subscribe, and smash like for more. Guys, class trial is next, and it's gonna be insane, as it always is. Uh, every time I think I know what's about to happen in the game, I just, everything just gets turned upside down. So, leave your thoughts down below. That's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.